Hello there, and welcome to Women's Business. My name is Dr. Marianne Schalkos Smith, known to most as Dr. Daycare, and this is my co host, Amy Vogel. We'd like to welcome you to our mentoring program designed to educate our community on issues facing working women. We will be speaking to our guests in the areas of art, sciences, health, education, law, medicine, politics, community service, military, and business. The goal of the show is to provide information that comes only from personal experience and to pass this information down to our daughters, nieces, neighbors, family, and friends. Much of the content will relate to the guest speaker's journey in their profession, what they have learned most about this process, and what they wished they had known before this journey began. Since women-owned businesses are the fastest growing sector of our economy, my guests will close with what lesson they would like to pass on to the viewing audience. Hello and welcome to Women's Business. <coughs> We'd like to introduce Rose Gali, Mackenzie, and Adariani to the show today. How are you, ladies? Good. Good. Thank you for coming. We appreciate this very much. It's going to be an exciting show, isn't it, Amy? It is. I'm excited. Three students are on our show. <coughs> wow. Brave enough to be on Women's Business Show. Wow, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'd like to begin by, first of all, looking into that camera and waving <coughs> to mom, dad, grandma, your brothers, your sisters, to give them a big hi. Really, they like to see this spot. Really, and now when they watch the show, they'll be able to see the big wave to them. Isn't that nice? Yeah. 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 <coughs> so, summer vacation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. School's over. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Fun. So I would like to ask you, when you were in school, what was your favorite subject in school? Mine was art. Art. And why was it art? I don't know. I just like crafting and stuff. You like crafting. Is there any special thing that you did in crafting <coughs> that you like the best? Um, I made a duck. A duck? Yeah. That's very cool. Wow. Did your art teacher help you or did you do it all by yourself? My art teacher helped me. That's why you got to love teachers. They're so helpful. They teach us. They mentor us. And look how happy you are that you made a duck <coughs> in art. Wow, that's very wonderful. Do you have a favorite subject at school when you were in school? Yes. What was that? Music. Music. <coughs> do you s sing? Yes. Really? That's I did not know that. That's my favorite thing to do in the car when, like, when it's all quiet. I don't like quiet things. I like singing and nice. like activities and stuff. You like activities <coughs> and you like singing? Yes. Do you want to sing a little song for us now, or would you rather not? I'm shy. Okay, okay, I get that, but if you decide, just let me know, and you can sing a couple of words. How's that? A couple of tunes, I should say. So why is music your favorite? Because it's like, an, like a pretty beautiful tune that like people like, like it, and then they would start singing it, too, like once they hear the person singing it. So when you start to sing, other people sing in with you because they like the song, they like the tune. I bet you any money that makes everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, I can tell by that smile on your face. It definitely makes everyone happy. And how about you? Do you have a favorite subject when you go to school? Um, it's math. Math. Wow. That was my favorite subject. Yes. And why is math your favorite subject? It's my favorite subject <coughs> because math the problems are like very easy for me mm -hmm. and it's like not that hard and I'm really good at it. Great. So it's like something that makes me focus. Now what grade are you going into? Fifth. Fifth grade at what school? Cunningham. Cunningham School, fifth grade. How about you? Second. You're going into the second grade at what school? St. Cecilia's. St. Cecilia's. <coughs> And how about you? What I'm going into third. You're going to third grade? And what school will you be going to? Nathaniel going? Green. Nathaniel Green. Wow. <coughs> so we do have an array of children here, huh? All different yeah. grades. Wow. Now this summer, you're at, you're at um, camp for the summer, Dr. Daycare, correct? Yes. 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 Now tell me, what do you want to do? Like, I'm going to have your teachers watch the show. And what do you want to do for summertime at Dr. Daycare? What would be like one of the things you'd really like to do in the summertime? 
Like, um, I would like to like do the sprinklers and um, play outside a lot. So you want to be outdoors a lot, and mm -hmm. you'd like to get wet by the sprinklers. Yeah. So you have sprinkles every day. That would be fun, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. How about you? What would you like to do this summer, Dr. Day Camp? Like, if there's going to be, like, new, new kids, because I already know there's, like, a couple of new kids. Yeah. But, like, if there's more coming, then I would like to make more friends with them to, like, introduce myself. So you're <coughs> going to make additional friends with the new kids coming into Dr. Day Camp for the summer. Yes. And how do you go about meeting them? How do you do that? How do you introduce yourself? You can teach me something. I like walk up to them and I like, say, do you want to be my friend? Do you want me to introduce yourself? And then I would shake their hand and then they would just be friends. Can I do that? That is absolutely That's beautiful. That's a great way to introduce yourself. I think that's wonderful. Wow, that is wonderful to just go right up to someone and say, hi, who yes. are you? Can I introduce you to someone else? You know what I call that when Amy was a little girl, you know what I used to call that? No. Buddy system. You already got the buddy system going. You go up, you introduce yourself to someone, and then you, can I be a friend or can I introduce you to somebody else? You're buddying up, you get more friends, right? That's pretty neat. <coughs> and how about you? What would you like to do this summer? Use, last year we was doing cooking projects, and I would like to do that this year. Cooking projects, huh? Yeah. And what's some of the favorite things you like to cook? We made cookies. You made cookies? Yeah. And we, um, can't really remember it though. Come with cookies. Maybe this year we can make a salad. Wouldn't that be nice? All yeah. different types of salads too. I sometimes like walnuts in my salad. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go to cellos, they put little macaronis in my salad. Salads are like tomatoes and cucumbers and get a yes. god to make, cook up a salad. That would be fantastic and too. We have a, um, garden and Dr. Daycare outside. I heard Dr. Daycare has a garden outside. All your kids are taking care of it, aren't you? Yes. Do you know what you're growing in the garden? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. What else? Um, carrots. Carrots? Carrots. Wow. Watermelon. Watermelon. This is awesome. I'm going to go eat from your garden. Is that okay? <laughs> wow. And Mr. Dominic said we're going to do it inside the classroom too. Yes, you are with the hydroponics machine, right? Yeah. So you can see growing all year round. A lot of times gardening's usually for the months that's outside and vegetables and fruit can grow, right? But with yeah. this machine, you can have it go all 12 months of the year. So you're growing vegetables and fruit all year round, or herbs. Or herbs. Yeah, I heard they might be growing um, parsley and basil, so you'll be yeah. able to take it home. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, we did that last year. Did, and the carrots, Mr. Dominic just let it grow over the winter. Because oh. it's the, it's like cold and like it's like a f kind of like a refrigerator. Yeah. So he just left it there. And Mr. Dominic, Dominic left it there, and the carrots grew over the season, huh? Yeah. To the next season. And wow. now and it died, so he's gonna oh. take the he's gonna take the flower. He's gonna let it grow, so he can get the flowers and take the seeds and grow more carrots. That is wonderful. So he grows the carrots, and then he actually gets the seeds and replants them the following year. Yeah. Mr. Dominic, he is like. I, I learned so much about him. I learned a lot from him from music and also from planting. He is That's really great. into it. In his classroom, he does all these wonderful things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, do you have a favorite teacher from Cunningham that you've had over the years? Miss Duffy. Miss Stephanie? Yeah, Miss Duffy. Miss oh, Duffy. Miss Duffy? Yeah. Very nice. And what, does she, what grade was she teaching? She was teaching me fourth grade. Fourth grade. Very nice. <coughs> what did you like about Miss Duffy? Because, like, when it was holidays, we would usually watch a movie, yeah. and school year was almost over. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all week, we was watching movies, and we also got to go to McDonald's. That's wow. awesome. She keeps her kids and happy. happy, huh? Wow. That's quite uh, going to McDonald's, and my goodness, that's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Now, do you have a favorite teacher from St. Cecilia's? Yes. Who? Mrs. Ventura. Very nice. And what grade did she teach? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Nothing like a good kindergarten teacher, huh? <coughs> mm -hmm. What did you like about her? She was like a mother to me. Um, she was like, um, I don't know like how to explain it, but like she was just a mother because she was a mother and her daughter went there. She was in a higher grade, but she like treated us 
like that we were all her like, kids. Nice. So she's very respectful of children? Yes. And you felt that, didn't you? She loved children. She loves children. Isn't it funny how kids can know when people really like kids, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Here you are now going to second grade and you still remember kindergarten because of such a wonderful teacher. And how about Nathaniel Green? Who is your favorite teacher? Miss Guys. And what grade does she teach? She teaches me um, second grade. Second grade, very oh. nice. What did you like about Miss Guys? She was really nice, and when like people didn't know um, some math, they she she taught them how to do math, and at the end of the year, they they knew math, like they could do multiplication. Oh, that's so wonderful. there were some children who weren't catching on to math, and Miss Guys gave them that extra teach taught them extra, kind of like tutored them, and by the end of the year, they that's understood great. math. Yeah. That's a really good teacher. That's a very good teacher. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. You had some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful teachers. Yeah. How about next year? Do you know who your teacher's going to be in the next grade? Not no. yet, huh? Yes, you, I do. You do, or you already know who's going to be your teacher next in um, September, Her name is Mrs. Beer. Mrs. Beer. <coughs> yeah. So when will you find out when your teachers? Next year. Yeah, like in the summertime, like August? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. That was always something that, as kids, you're like, you got to know who your teacher's going to be. But sometimes, like, you go home for the summer, you're like, okay, who's my teacher? I wonder who my teacher is. Then when you get that notice, you're, like, all excited, huh? Yeah. Like, when oh. I was in elementary school back in the 80s, we didn't find out who our teacher was until the first day we got to school. Can you believe that? So you had no idea until that first day of school you'd walk in there saying, here's your teacher. You had no warning. You just went for it. It worked out well, though. Yeah, the teachers are wonderful. People who teach just really like kids, and they really like education. We're very, very lucky to have teachers. We really are. We're, the t we're just going to get a note that's going to tell us what teacher we're going to get. Yeah, you'll probably get a note probably at your home, right? Yeah. You'll have an idea before the first day. Like, you had to go the first day, mm -hmm. but they will have an idea before the first day. And Mackenzie so you guys already are prepared. Knows. So you're prepared. I, I already knew her because, like, I went, we were, like, switched. So the second grade, there was, like, a red group and blue group. The red group would go in kindergarten and blue group would go in our class. Mm. Then, like, first graders would go in, like, their class. We were, like, split up in groups. And, like, um, I went in her class, so that's how I know her. So it sounds like St. Cecilia has a system, and by the end of the school year, you know what's going on for the beginning of the school year. Yeah. Important question. What do you want to be when you grow up? Let me ask Amy a question. When you were their, their age, Amy, what did you want to be? Do you remember? I have no idea. You have no idea? So if I asked you when you were like 8 or 10, what do you think you would have said? I don't know. You don't know, Maybe huh? I'll get some ideas from these young ladies. Yes, I bet you might. <coughs> What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. You would like to be a doctor. Do you know what type of doctor you would like to be? I'm a nurse. A nurse taking care of people in the <coughs> hospital? Yeah. Like do you know that. any sick people? No. No, not now. Would you like to work with people who are <coughs> sick? Yes. That's amazing. That, that's going to be really wonderful work. Wow. <coughs> How about you, Mackenzie? What, what do you think would you would like to be when you grow up? A veterinarian. A veterinarian. And why a veterinarian? Because I really love animals and I really like seeing them, like um, helping them. Because when I was a little kid, I used to like love helping like an animal. Like say there was like a cat sock, I would like warn my father. He would get a ladder and then get the cat and then we would set it free. Very wow. nice. <coughs> now, I've, this is an important question. I'm thinking in the back of my mind. Will you sing to these animals? Yes. I bet you it would. I bet you there'll be music going in in your office at all times, pumped in, so when you work with the animals, they would hear music too. I bet you animals like music. What do you Cause, think? Because, like, I always wanted a bird to, like, sing with me. Like... <laughs> wow. You might want to get a parrot. That could <laughs> sing with you. Yeah. Think we could talk your mom into getting you a parrot to sing with you? <laughs> <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up? I would like to work with kids. Nice. You want to work with children, and what? How would you work with kids? Um, teach them, play with them. I teach them. Teach them. Okay, is it you're going to teach them math? Yeah. You gonna be a math so. teacher? 
Um, or just an elementary school teacher? I don't really know. You haven't figured that out yet. I get it. Yeah. It's hard to think of something. Yeah, like Amy couldn't think of anything no. when she was younger. So really, you gotta, you got to just some kind of, just sometimes it just happens in life. That's what you become, you know? How about your moms? Did you, all, my, all your moms work? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What does your mom do? She works at a radio station. Oh, she works cool. at a radio station. Is she a DJ? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get to hear her on the radio, huh? No? No? What do you think she does at work? I don't know. You don't know. I bet you after she watches you on the show, she's going to be telling you exactly what she does at work. What does your mom do at work, Amy? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out, too. <laughs> See? Amy doesn't know what her mother does at work, either. So I'll teach her later, and your mom will teach you. How's that? <laughs> John, Kenzie, what does your mom work? She works for you guys. <laughs> for you guys? <laughs> and what are you guys? What, what is you guys? I... She works for Dr. Daycare. Works for Dr. Daycare. She's a school age teacher at Dr. Daycare, isn't yes. she? And she <coughs> teaches children all afternoon and the mornings, and now it's full time because school's out in an educational program, isn't she? Yes. With Dominic. And yeah. is Michaela's in that class? No. Dr. D um, Mick, Mick, Mr. Dominic and Miss Michaela is in Annex and. Mr. Daniel and Miss Jocelyn works in the kindergarten. So two separate uh, school age, two separate camps type of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The same type of curriculum, education, education, all through the summer, along with going out in the sprinklers. Absolutely, that's a very important. Along with cooking, that's part of the curriculum too. Absolutely. Yeah. And what does your mom do? She works at a nursing home with um, old people. Oh, wow. wow. Very nice. What do you think people do at nursing homes? Take care of them. Yeah, very important work, very important work. Absolutely. People need care in nursing homes, and people who work there do some really hard, caring work. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you all have any siblings? Do you have any brothers or sisters? What do you have? I have three brothers and one sister. Wow, very nice. Now, where do you, are you the youngest, the oldest, or in the middle? I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. I'm the youngest. Very cool. Wow. It's the youngest out of five kids. That's pretty neat. Best position in the world to be. Mm -hmm. It's a good position to be the baby of the family with older siblings. It's pretty cool. And how about you? Do you have any siblings? No, I'm the only kid. In the house. Yes, my daughter is an only child too. So the youngest is me, and my daughter's an only child. Very mm -hmm. cool. Do you like being an only child? Well, not really all the time, because like, like when I go visit the baby cousin, I always wanted a sister. Oh, got it. Yeah. She always asks for a sister as well. Yeah. But you know, it's no guarantees for sister or brother. Yeah, true, and true. She's gonna go with it. And and also Amy's daughter Avery, she she plays with her cousins all the time. That's how she gets her brothers and sisters. You gotta you gotta love cousins. Aren't that amazing? Have yeah. cousins. It's like yeah. having like a extended family of brothers and sisters or good, good, good family friends. If they have children, like it's an extension to a, of a cousin or a sister or brother. Yeah. yeah. It's always a way to find out someone you can hang out with and be with. Now, do you have any siblings? Yeah. How many? I have two brothers and he, my youngest one is three years old and his name is Aiden and my other one is eight years old and his name is Adamson. So you're right in the middle? No, I'm the oldest. 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 I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. You're the oldest? Very nice. So you take care of your brothers? Yeah. You tell them how it's going to be, right? Yeah. Very nice. Do you like being the oldest? Yeah. The leader of the pack, right? I like it. With that beautiful smile, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see you leading those brothers around, and you're, like, smiling all the way. <laughs> Let's talk about pets. I don't have a pet. I don't have a pet. I had many, many pets when I was growing up, and I had many pets when Amy was a little girl and her brother Keith. But now, as a grandparent, I don't have any pets. And I miss a pet. I love a pet. They're pretty cool. But they take a lot of attention, a lot of work. So yeah. I just can't be home to feed them. Uh, why don't you talk about Buddy? You have I, a pet. Yes, we have a dog, Buddy. Guess it, how old he is. Um, one. No, he's, old. he's kind of an old dog. How old are you? Ten. He's a year older than you. He's 11. Buddy's 11 years old. Can you believe that? 
Oh he's a little God. dog like this. He, everyone thinks he's so young, though, because he has, like, a puppy face. And, yeah, he's 11 years old. And he's like my firstborn, really. <laughs> <laughs> I love Buddy. Hey, baby, push over. Yeah. And if a dog is 11, how old is that in dog's age? I think it's 70-something. 70 Se 77. Mm -hmm. Seven times a year of the dog is usually how old. So, actually, her dog in our lifetime is about 77 yeah. years old. It's getting old. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But he's a good dog. We do yeah. love Bob Buds. Yeah, he's a good dog. Now, do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a betta fish. A betta fish. Pretty cool, huh, Abe? Very cool. Wow. Is it, and it's a little tank or a big tank or? A little one. A little tank? Does it have a name? It, her name is Chloe. Oh, I Chloe, like that. That's a whoa. pretty name. Beta fish named Chloe. I will never forget that. That's pretty neat, really. How old? Well, do you know how old your beta fish is? No. Do you know how long you've had it for? Um, I think at least two months. Oh, oh. good. Very nice. Now the important question: What? Who feeds the beta fish? Me. Okay. You do. Who cleans its tank? Well, my dad does. Oh, yay, no. dad! Yay, dad! He helps me. <laughs> That's oh, good. That effect. works so well, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. <coughs> now, do you have any pets? You want to be a veterinarian, so this could be a good start. I have five. Five pets? Well, tell us about them. I have three cats, one dog, and a gargoyle gecko. Their names is the gargoyle gecko's name is Alexi. My dog's name is Sadie. And the three cats is Puma, Ariel, and Sebastian. Nice. Wow, <laughs> you have a lot of pets. Do you help take care of them? Yes. This is all training for when you get older, right? What do you help do with them? Um, the one thing that I love taking care of is the gargoyle gecko. Why? Tell me why. Because I love feeding it. It's crickets because it's really cool and fun. And it, it eats this pasting, so I would put her on my lap. She's only like, say like this big. Oh, oh really? Is she in a tank or? A big, huge tank, but just for her size, it's small. But like she would, back to the paste thing, she would eat this paste and I would put her on my lap and she would just look at it like. <laughs> now, I, I'm just curious. She eats paste? It's like a paste thing. Like, yeah. So you buy it and then it's like, it's their food? Yes. Almost like baby food that's like chopped down and yeah, it's like moisture thing. Moisture in it, so it, it sticks its tongue out. Yes. And it pulls like the pasty food in. That does that, huh? That must be pretty interesting <laughs> watching that. Yeah. And sh she eats crickets. Yes, she eats both. Do you buy the crickets at the pet store? Or do you go find them in your backyard? Sometimes find them in my backyard. <laughs> well, if I find a cricket, I'm bringing it to you at Doctor Daycare. Okay? I'm gonna put it in a little plastic bag. Do they have to be alive, or do they? Can they be? Dead. Dead. <laughs> there was one thing that we found out yesterday. Oh, let's So, see. like, we kept on buying her crickets from the pet store, and guess what? What? All the cr they were all gone, but all the crickets were under the mulch thing. Oh. All of them. Oh, that's, oh, wow. <laughs> Army of crickets. Like. Uh, yeah, you could probably get a lot in the back in a uh, playground yeah. at Dr. Daycare if you keep digging for the crickets. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, do you have any pets? No. No pets? If you do, you wish you had a pet. Yeah. And what type of pet would that be? I want a dog. A, a dog. dog. Do you want a big dog, a little dog? Like a little dog. A little dog. dog? Do you like, have a name for the dog? Have you ever thought of a name? Not really. No. No. Yeah. Well, little dogs are fun. They sit right on your lap. We have a little dog. They just sit there and they like sleep. Yeah. Do you have a little dog or big dog? I have a little dog. She's a chihuahua. She's eight years old. Oh, she is little. Oh, she's getting up there too, huh? Yes. Yeah. Very nice. <coughs> wow. You guys have, so we have a fish, cats, dog, gecko, and you would like one. Maybe one day, but a dog's a lot to take care of. So you got to get your parents to buy on. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, first you have to potty train them, yeah. and you got to bring them outside. Yeah. And they're just going to see that. Work. It's work. you got to feed them, and if you're out and you're working late, you got to make sure you get home in time. It's like having a baby around. Yeah. yeah. Usually at my mom, when, at my, when my mom was um, born, where she was born, the dogs were usually outside. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not in a lot in of places, house. that is true. They let the dogs roam free. Yeah. Where was your mom born? In Cavewood.
skateboard. Yeah. When I was a little girl back in the 50s, that all the dogs, my dogs were outside all day long uh, back then. However, it has changed and just so it's just solely changed. It's like the dogs are inside. They they're all on um, Leash. leashes. They all walked every day. Their poop is picked up. It's a big, big difference in the 50s and 60s raising a dog. Cause like when it's I best for the dog too. It's safer. It's 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 um more nurturing type mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah, dogs are like an extended part of your family, or actually, say a part of your family. In many homes. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna say, Mackenzie? When I got my cat. He was like the first one to be meowing, like, take me home, please. And then we finally found the sister. I, she was so cute in the cage, shy. It was like, because I found her, and then I, I, I was four and I still knew how to read, because that's how my favorite subject is. And, because I could read when I was four, so I read it, and then it said it had a brother. We already got the brother at our house, and then we went back and got the sister. But then the third thing, we came home, went back to my mom's cousin's house. She has like a whole bunch of cats for sale. We got like a black one. He was so fluffy, so small, and he was like, <laughs> it was cute. I think That's you're going to make a very good veterinarian. He used to go on my iPad you and love play animals. Like, wow. with the fish things. So we have two minutes <coughs> left. Two minutes left, so I'm why don't you say one thing you'd love to do this summer before you go back to school? Do you have one thing you'd really want to do this summer before you go back to school? Um, I would love to go to the pool a lot. Love to go to the pool a lot and swim? Yeah. I like swimming too. Mm. How about you, Mackenzie? I would love to go like to go to Boston real quick to like pick up things and because I usually collect magnets. Oh. oh, very nice. Go to Boston buy some magnets. I like that. How about you? <coughs> I would like to go to Block Island. Oh, Block, Block Island. I get Block Island, Barry, with that little tune. I get yeah. that tune in my head. Have I, you ever been to Block Island? No. Well, I think that's no. a great little day trip. It's fun. No. My mom said that this summer we're going to go. That, that is very cool. Block Island. Well, great tell, island right in Rhode Island. Tell your mom that I won two free tickets to Block Island. And if you go to Block Island, I will give you those two free tickets. Okay, they're right in my house. I just won them at a, I went to like a, a party and put my name in a basket and they pulled out my name. So I have two free tickets to go on that ferry and go to Block Island. So I will make sure I get them to you. How's that? My last question, I quickly, quickly, I want to know what your favorite food is. We have like a half a minute left. What's your favorite food? Ice cream. Ice cream, yes. That's a good one. Chicken. 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 Um, grapes. 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 What's yep. your favorite food, Amy? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> That's just, my problem. Just <laughs> pick one. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. My, yummy. My dad said when I was little, he used to give me grapes, and I would just like stuff it in my mouth. You used to like them. Oh, really they're yummy. Good, grapes are yummy. Good, healthy snack your dad gave you. That's a fantastic one, yes. Well, my goodness. Thank you, Rose Golly, Mackenzie, Nadariani, for being on the show today. Yes. Great it's guess, huh? It's been a fabulous time, and I learned yes. so much fun stuff. Yes. Hope you had a good time, too. Yes. And this is just the here. very beginning of summer, so hopefully you have an absolutely wonderful summer. Thank I'm you. I'm sure you Thank will. You. you, too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very, you. very much. Say bye to your parents and your siblings bye. and your grandparents and whoever else is out there. Thank you.